Gothamites, it's Gotham season finale. Let's just first do a round of applause for a very, very successful first season. I'm Mr. Dark Phoenix. This is Batman and Spider Man bringing you guys some Gotham. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, hit that subscribe button. Gotham may have edited tonight, but that does not mean I do not post geeky weekly content that I would love to have you guys watch and be a part of in the nerdy geeky family that we have here on YouTube. This is the first time you're catching my channel. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the season finale of Gotham, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Gotham. The season finale, all happy families are alike. Really odd title, but I mean, no, it's, it signifies the same thing. Fish returns, and it's a new dawn, and it's a new day. I liked how she met Selena Kyle, but I'm like, oh god, she's gonna, she, she's gonna corrupt her. I, I really hope that later on in the movies, like, we somehow get flashbacks to stuff like this. Like, when adult Catwoman is like, I did so many, I did so much messed up stuff when I was a kid. And then they flash back with stuff like this as the reasoning for it. Then we know why. Penguin almost had the damn kill. Congratulations, Robert Lord Taylor. You are officially a Batman villain. Why? Because you monologued and didn't get the job done. I was, me and my grandmother were so upset because I was like, oh, damn it, he could have killed the guy. And now look what happened. You killed the bitch killed, bitch killed his vibe. That's what happened. Um, Lee and Keen in some psycho girl talk. Psycho babble. Psycho afternoon yak. I don't care what you call it. Barbara's a crazy bitch now. So when you talk to the hot girlfriend and you're talking with the crazy girlfriend, it's like... I'm kind of glad they kept Barbara crazy. I really hope they keep Barbara crazy. I really do, because it's... I, she, I, I hope she becomes crazy enough to either be someone psychic or be like a psychotic person in her own right. I don't know what they can do, but she's she's a Batman... and She's in the Batverse. So she's got to be mentally unstable somehow. And I hope that he stays with Lee, because she he, it has to be her. No more this Barbara Keen shit. Batgirl's mom can be Lee for all I give a damn. And, yeah, Lil Selena's taste in evil. And it's not good for the little corruption in her. But we gotta start somewhere, don't we? And Fish killed Maroney. Girl power. I love that. Like, he was like, don't call me babe, motherfucker, don't do it. Don't you do it. Babe, I'm sorry. Boof. I'm like, yeah. You get to see in her face. Um, She was like, oh, she got that, oh, I'm gonna shoot you in the face look. Like, I'm gonna directly shoot you in the mouth. And... Lo and behold, Fish started a mob war that ended pretty badass, for the most part. Penguin versus Fish. The only complaint that I had with this was that I was really thinking and really hoping that he would have killed her with an umbrella. That was what I was theorizing, that's what my big thing was. I'm like, yo, he about to kill Fish, because that's his rise to power, that's his, like, you know, like, his stepping stone. Like, Maroney's out of the way, Falcone's out of the way, he's gonna kill her with an umbrella, and officially become the Penguin. But, he pushed her over a, 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 a ledge, so, that kind of leaves her fate open, because Jada said that she wasn't coming back for season two, but the way they ended this makes it happen that she could return if she feels like it. You know, like, it's just water. Like... You can return from water, it's fine. Just ask Oliver Queen. He damn died in water, he came back, so so, so can she. And there's a new king in Gotham, and it's the Penguin. Whack, 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 whack. I really want the Umbrella to be introduced. I'm kind of upset that that didn't happen. It was still a great scene, a great episode, though. Like, you know, like he finally stepped on his way own into his kingdom. Now he's got to run it properly. And the Riddler snaps. Ooh, Corey Michael Smith is going to be so good when he's the Riddler. I really hope that that girl is going to be a sidekick, like his Harley Quinn of sorts, or it'd be great if Barbara was his sidekick. Barbara was his Harley Quinn, and she does whatever he wants, because she's crazy too. So, here's hoping Barbara for whatever Riddler's sidekick would be. I don't know, question mark? Question, bitch? Bitch, question mark. We'll leave it at that. And we found the Batcave. 
Did you hear the bats? Just... Let's just throw out all the Easter eggs in there. Let's just do it. If they see a damn Thomas... If they, if they tease me with a Batman Thomas Wayne Flashpoint outfit, I will kick someone in their face. You have my word on that. Or just... They're gonna... I don't even know. I love the episode. Tell me down below what you guys think. Did you guys want to see Penguin kill fish with an umbrella? Comment down below and let me know. And check out my social media links and other videos that you check out on this channel. And always remember that through good times and bad times, we're going to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the Flash and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.